My name is Dr. Ritu Kalida. I am also referred to one of the many rocket women of India. I was born and brought up in Lucknow and grew up in a middle class family which placed great emphasis on education. As a child, I knew that my interests were in the space sciences. Gazing at the night sky for hours and thinking about the space and its unfathomable sights. I wondered about the moon and I wondered how it changes its shape and size and wanted to study more about the stars and what lay behind the dark space. In my teenage years, I kept track of everything that happened in ISRO and NASA by cutting out the articles from newspapers and magazines. I completed my bachelor's and master's of science in the University of Lucknow and then pursued my master's of aerospace engineering in the IISC of Bangalore. I worked in ISRO since 1997 as the Deputy Operations Director to India's Mars Orbital Mission, Mangalyaan. Mangalyaan was one of the greatest achievements of ISRO. It made India the fourth country in the world to reach Mars and was done in the short duration of just 18 months. I supervised the Chandrayaan 2 mission as the mission director and received the ISRO Young Scientist Award in 2007 from Sir APJ Abdul Kalam, then President of India, and was also awarded an honorary doctorate by the Lucknow University, my alma mater. Hi, my name is Chinki J. I am from 7B. I'm going to tell you about the contribution of women scientists, Madam Curie and Shakuntala Devi. Madam Curie. She won Nobel Prize in Physics and Chemistry and she is the only woman to get this prize in just a gap of 8 years. Shakuntala Devi can solve any mathematical operations using her mind. She is very good in mathematics. Thank you. Good morning. I am speaking about Maria Telkis. Maria was a Hungarian-American physical chemist and biophysicist who invented numerous devices capable of storing energy captured from sunlight. In 1925, she invented a photoelectric device that recorded brain waves. During the Second World War, she invented the solar distiller to purify water. In 1953, Telkis created a solar oven which could be used all over the world. She designed and constructed the first solar-powered house in the world she is known as the Sun Queen for her contributions in the field of solar energy. Ma Maria Telkis will be remembered as one of the greatest female scientists in history. Thank you. Good morning all. My name is Shania Vibhara from Sarina. Today I will be talking about Alice Paul. Alice Paul was one of the first women and first African American to get an advanced degree in chemistry. In the year 2000, the University of Hawaii officially honored her with the plaque next to the school and the child number two. Thank you. Good morning everyone. My name is Suhavi Gandhi from 7F and today I will be talking to you about Grace Hopper. Grace Hopper was born on 9th of December 1906 in the US. She was an American mathematician, computer scientist and a part of the US Navy uh, Rare and Man. She uh, developed multiple computer languages and is considered to be one of the first programmers of the modern computing age. Throughout World War II, she worked in a prestigious lab which was responsible for top secret calculations. Uh, she died at the age of 86 years in US uh, in 1992. Thank you. Tessie Thomas was born in April 1963. She is an Indian scientist. She is the Director General of the Aeronautical System and the former Project Director of the Agni Four Missile in the Defense Research and Development Organization. She is the first ever woman scientist to head a missile project in India. Tessa Thomas received the Lal Bahadur Shastri National Award for India for her contribution uh, in making for, for contribution for making India self-reliant in the field of missile technology. 